Hey guys, what's up? So, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to get uploaded on Thanksgiving or the next day, but uh, happy Thanksgiving uh, just the same. So today we're going to take a look at Collective Arts IPA number 11. IPA brewed with lactose, mosaic, and Idaho 7 hops. Collective Arts Art Brewing, um, one pint ale, 5.8% alcohol by volume. And this is made by the Collective Arts Brewing, Wanakee, Wisconsin, USA. And it's a very, it's a really cool looking can in my opinion. That's really sharp. And this is one of those, um, one of those beers that I have that it took me a while to get around to. It kind of got shoved in, shoved to the back of the shelf where I keep all my beer. And I thought, well, I better try this one so before it goes flat. So, how does number 11 taste? Ooh, that is hoppy as heck. But it's good, though. Uh, since I've been doing this channel, I've I've become a little more open to a lot of beer. And there's still some IPAs that I can't handle, but I've gotten better with them. And I've come to appreciate them a little bit more. Because early on on this channel, I was pretty harsh on them, but... Um, Mm, they're I'm, they're getting a little uh, better with me. I'm not saying they're always my favorite type of beer, but um, they're getting better. It's got um, hmm, it's got some sweetness to it, and it's got bitterness to it that you would expect from an IPA. Uh, it's got pretty strong body to it. Um, if you're looking for a beer that's not um, that's not filling, this isn't the one you want. This could be pretty filling, um, but it has a very very nice taste to it. Um, I would argue this is of all the IPAs that I've tried. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I, I, gosh, I would have to say at least that's resonating in my mind right now. But uh, I'm having this beer with my uh, Thanksgiving meal. So I think this will go pretty well with it. But yeah, I still, uh, man, I just really, uh, I really just dig the can's design. I just think that's really cool. So if you see this one, I definitely recommend trying it. And even if you're not the biggest IPA fan in the world, I think you might like this beer as well because this one doesn't quite have as harsh of a taste as, uh, as some of the other ones do. But yeah, yeah, very nice, uh, very nice beer. I'm not sure why this is coming to my mind, but when I see the number 11, I always think of... Um, I always think of the smither of the band the Smithereens. Um, they have an they have an album uh, called Number Eleven. I think it came out in nineteen eighty nine, and it contains one of their biggest hits, "A Girl Like You" and uh, "Blues Before and After." It's a pretty good album. And don't mind that beeping in the background. That's uh, Chef Mike uh, telling me that my uh, supper in the microwave is ready or it needs to be turned over. Well, guys, uh, that's going to do it for me. That's IPA number 11 from Collective Arts. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day.